And we got a casserole anyway. All right, I'll take it. What's up, noobs? I'm Greener. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Okay, so we got the card Corvus Glaive on reveal. Discard two cards from your hand to get plus one max energy. I saw Regis playing this deck. He seemed to be doing really well with it. Um, I'm not doing great with it, so maybe I'm just not playing the deck properly or something. But I found that um, the game just never wants to draw you Corvus. <laughs> it just never wants to give you this card ever. So um, let's go through the deck really quick. We have Blade in here and uh, we are running Hella, so Blade can hit a number of good targets. Pretty much any of your big stuff down here um, is good for Blade. We're running Electro on reveal, plus one max energy ongoing. You can only play one card a turn. So this is um, one way you can ramp up, right? And then you can start playing your big stuff. The other way, we can ramp up, obviously, is the new card, Corvus Glaive. Discard two cards from your hand to get plus one max energy. Um, I found that normally this hits Hella always, and that's really frustrating. <laughs> but if you hit the nuts, uh, the payoff is, is pretty spicy. We have Jubilee in here on reveal. Add the top card from your deck to this location. Um, just a great way to cheat something out of your deck. You know, like something big, maybe get an Infinite or a Giganto or Magneto or a Doctor Doom or something like that. We're running Sandman. Ongoing players can only play one card a turn. Um, very helpful, especially if you pull it off like Jubilee or something. I hate that you have to pay five energy for it. But since you're playing Electro in this deck, you're probably only playing one card a turn anyway. So it's good to uh, reciprocate that for your uh, opponent. And because it's a Sandman deck, hopefully they have a lot of cards in hand. So we're playing Ronin. Ongoing plus two power for each card in your opponent's hand. Also not bad if uh, Corvus hits this and you get it back with Hella. We're running Dr. Doom in here on reveal. Add a five power Doombot to each other location. Pretty standard in every ramp deck. Just since you're only going to be playing one card a turn, most likely. Uh, Dr. Doom is just a great way to spread power across the board. Like I said, we are running Hella on reveal. Resurrect all cards you discarded to random locations. So hopefully um, Corvus hits something big and you hit something big with Blade and then Hella just ends up winning you the game. We're running Odin in here on reveal. Activate the unreveal abilities of your other cards here. And this is specifically to activate your Doctor Doom, right? So you get some Doom bots, you play Odin in the Doctor Doom lane, you get another couple of Doom bots. And then the last three cards are our big boys. We have Magneto on reveal, move all enemy three and four cards to this location. So great uh, manipulation here, but also just a really big stat line. Another giant stat line, we have Giganto. You can only play this at the left location. So if you get your ramp, you know, you can pop out Giganto, then pop out a Magneto. And um, a lot of the time that'll be too big for your opponent to deal with. And like I said, we are running the Infinite. Um, if you played a card last turn, you can't play this. You're pretty much only trying to get this from either Jubilee or out of Hella. So that's pretty much the deck. By the way, if you're new here, why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy, huh? Hey, it's just a click for you. It means the world to me. All right, let's get into the games. One time, can I get a ramp card in my opening hand one time? Guess the answer is no, huh? Okay, we play Corvus here and we hope it doesn't hit Hella, even though it 100% hits Hella. Okay, those are two pretty, pretty good hits. Do we think they're gonna try to play Galactus? Because if so, I just play Hella here. Unless he plays it over here. Which is not great. Orca. Minions to me. I mean, I could just go Ronin here. Shang-Chi is not enough to win Lechugia by itself. I 
Maybe we go Jubilee to see if it hits Odin. And just play this out for fun. All right, let's see it. All right, let's go. Well, we actually got an early Electro, so that's something, I guess. Guess we chill. I mean, I do have Corvus Glaive, but now it runs the risk of hitting Hela. All right, whatever, I'm doing it. Every time, every time. Dude, it hits hella every single time. Guess we go Jubilee here, hope that we can hit like a Doctor Doom. Um, I could Sandman here and then hope we get Odin off the top. But if they have Modok Hela, then it won't matter. In which case, Ronin's my better play. No, if it's Modok, Ronin's not a good play. We gotta go Sandman. We did get Odin, but it might not be enough if that's going to be Modok Hela. And we got a casserole anyway. All right, I'll take it. Victory. Okay, we have Corvus in hand. We just need to not pull Hella. Okay, let's chill. And then we can go Corvus mid. Come on, hit some good stuff over here. Don't hit the two low cards, please. You've got to be joking me. Out of all the cards it could have hit, it hit the two worst possible ones. Okay, I guess we go Ronin in here. I mean, I kind of like Dr. Doom here. And then we can hit it with Odin. Yeah. Hmm. Well, in that case, I guess we go Giganto and hope that we have enough over here.
And we get a castle roll. Let's go. Uh, well, we definitely don't want to play Blade with Hella off the top there. Uh, we can do it with Giganto, though. So we go Blade here. We didn't get any ramp, so that's not good. Boy, is this uh is this a bad hand? I mean, I guess we just go Doom here. I or we could go Infinite. But maybe Doom into Odin is better. I feel like Doom Odin's probably our best shot here. That's gotta be awkward. But I don't think this is enough, unfortunately. But I'll play it out. Hey, we win by one. Let's go, baby. Victory. Uh, play Blade to see to uh, discard Giganter to see if we get Hella. Dude, I don't know where my ramp cards are. <laughs> Not one ramp card. Dude, does Corvus or Electro exist? Do they exist in this deck? Uh, we play Sandman here. Avengers! He clearly has a Spectrum deck. I mean, the only thing inside Hela is a Giganto. And it depends on where that goes. Maybe they don't have 12 to fight for over here. So we just go Hella. Minions to me. Hey, we win by one again. Let's go. <laughs> Can I get Corvus in my opening hand one time? Guess we chill. And then we go Electro.
okay, we have Corvus. I mean, the better play is probably Sandman, but we're here to play Corvus, right? So I'm going to play Corvus and hope we get Hella. Um, I could just play Giganto here and hope we get Hella off the top. Or maybe we hit Hella with Jubilee. It's a 50-50. We have Pryo. I think we go for it, and we just have to hit, uh, we have to hit Hella. Well, I guess we play it here in case we hit Ronin. And we win by more? I'll take it, man. Okay, I guess we chill. Again, no ramp card in my opening hand, of course. Because why, why, why would the game give me the cards that I need, right? Guess we chill here. This needs to pull not Blade or Hella. Didn't hit Hella, but it also didn't hit anything great. Uh, we need to play Sandman, though, so they can't do some sneaky shenanigans. And we go with uh, Sandman here. Um, we have to hope they don't have Shang-Chi and we just go for the Giganto. Dr. Doom. That's a pretty good hit. Well, they probably always win mid. Or they just retreat. Victory. So honestly, we didn't do all that great with this deck. Um, I found it really, really frustrating to play because it never gave you Corvus or Electro in your opening hand. Sometimes you're just sitting there with tons of cards in your hand, not being able to play anything at all. And then by the time you can play a card, you just can't get there in power. So... The casino aspect of Corvus and Hella feels really bad as well, because like pretty much every time I played Corvus, it hit Hella. <laughs> so I don't know if I was going to make a change to this list, I would probably swap out Blade for Wave because um, I know a lot of Corvus decks are running Wave instead. But hey, try that deck out for yourself. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. If you like this video, why don't you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And anyway. GG.